Good morning and welcome to the Isn't It Time Facebook Live show. I'm your host, Sally Thibault, and today we're talking about the habit of disempowerment. How, when you are feeling disempowered, that it actually makes you or causes you not to be able to manifest what you want in your life. And today I'm going to be sharing a very uh, personal story about uh, disempowerment uh, and how it impacts and uh, and how you can actually overcome it. So today we are going to be um, getting right into this um, because what I find is for many women in particular, we move very, very easily into disempowerment and it becomes a habit. It becomes something that you do all the time and sometimes you don't even know it. You're handing over your power to other people. You are surrounding yourself with people who are taking away your power or what's worse is that you're doing it to yourself. So today, that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about how you overcome the habit of disempowerment. We'll get right to the end, of course, and we'll be doing our uh, live tapping session at the end of the show. So as you hop on today, please just let me know if you can hear me, if you're with me, <laughs> and uh, we will be starting this uh, straight away. I did want to let you know, of course, that we've got the uh, EFT for Leaders program coming up. Uh, the link is here, and I'll put, pop the link in the uh, below in um, the, the uh, comments as well. Um, so the EFT for Leaders program is one designed specifically if you are already a coach or a leader and you're wanting to add something far greater to your um to your toolkit you want to be able to work with people in helping them overcome and i'll be sharing how you know it's really important to get very specific on exactly what's going on um, with somebody when you when you're coming up against something um it's very important that you get very specific in what the emotion actually is and that's what i'll be teaching how to do in the uh, eft for leaders program that's coming up in november in brisbane uh seats are really limited because it's uh, um i want to make this very um hands-on um i want you to be able to clear your own issues that are going on but also to be able to um experience this really get into it you know learn how to find what's really going on for people and above all that is actually learn how you can impact others and make a huge difference in their lives very quickly so uh, in the EFT for Leaders program that's what we'll be doing but today we're going to be talking about disempowerment and how that impacts on our manifestation and again as I mentioned in the introduction it becomes a habit. It becomes something that we live with all the time and don't even realize it. So what we'll be doing today is looking at how the story unfolded, how I found this out um, and the amazing, um, the amazing thing that happened after I cleared it. It was just Gosh, you know, I, I live this every day. I I coach this. I you know, I, I I teach people how to do this. And when I do it for myself, it just re it reaffirms to me all the time that this is just an amazing, amazing uh, modality. So as you pop on today, just say hi. Let me know if you can hear me, and uh, and I will. I'm going to get straight into it this morning because I want to tell you this story um, about how it. Morning, Sally. Lovely to have you here. Lovely to have you here. Um, and Debbie and Donna. Morning, 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 everybody. Yes, good morning, Donna. Good morning, Debbie. <laughs> and good morning, Sally. Great name, Sally. <laughs> Great name. Morning, Michelle. Morning, Michelle. Yes, yeah, so um, I'm just going to be sharing with you today. I'm going to just be sharing the story of um of exactly what happened and uh, what i discovered and above all i just truly believe that this is exactly uh where am i going here oh i just lost my little thing wait a minute wait a minute technology oh gosh <laughs> technology oh where am i there's my little thing there's my thing i should be showing there we go there we go all righty let's get straight into it so uh, as many of you know, 
uh, we are downsizing. We are moving to apartment living. Um, and we have been in our house here 13 years and we have actually been in our area for 20 years. Um, and so we decided um, that we were moving. Uh, we need to move by the 30th of October. So the last few weeks we've been out looking now, we haven't kind of done the whole, you know, go out, rent things, have to put applications in and all that stuff because my husband's in real estate. So whenever we wanted something for a house or we needed one, we just got it. <laughs> but this is a very different era, so I've discovered. So this time last week, we actually found, we, we had in our kind of vision board, we ha I had in, in my motor list of everything we wanted in this particular apartment. Um, you know, we have a big four bedroom house, three bathrooms, you know, we've had three kids and a homestake um, uh, daughter staying here for many years. And so you can imagine what it's filled with. And so we went, anyway, we, so we decided where we wanted. To, so we kind of spent some time driving around, finding out particularly where we wanted to live because of um, different lifestyle reasons and what we wanted. So um, after the show last week, we went and viewed a property which was everything that kind of worked you know we, we'd, we'd seen a few it hadn't been a lot but we'd seen a few and this was a bit closer to what we wanted but there were a few things missing and um and i and i, and I said jerry i can't we could we could kind of make this work it's not exactly what we want and we were looking at one on monday morning when we went and had a look at this one on monday morning it was exactly what we, i mean you could just could it would just it was like everything we had written down everything that we had envisioned we the minute I walked in, I just knew it was it. So we made the application. Well, you know, hmm. You know, that's surprising they didn't ask me if I was an organ donor. <laughs> they asked me everything else, and uh, very. It was a very uncomfortable circumstance to go through. You know, applying and then and then the wait. So get all the documents together, and then the wait, and. So that was Monday, got it all and in. And um, and she said, the, the woman who was the rental person said, we will let you know within 24 hours. So by the time Tuesday came, <clears throat> we hadn't heard anything. And, you know, I'm the type of person, that once I, I step into this manifestation, we let it go. And, and I know how to do this. I know how to get what you want. I, I've, I've done this so many times before. I just know that the, the steps you go through. So, but we hadn't heard by Tuesday afternoon and I started to get this really uncomfortable feeling. I couldn't put my, am I impatient? Um, is it fear that I'm not going to get what I want? What, what is this? Now, I've been skilled enough in EFT to know that it, oftentimes what the emotion is, <laughs> yes, they are, they are, Donna, although I have to give my, my dues to this particular one she's been wonderful but anyway it is it took ages but um i really know that in order to clear whatever is going on <laughs> exactly exactly um yeah in order to clear what's going on um i have to understand what the pattern is now you could have said for me on Tuesday afternoon and as it went into Wednesday morning, as it turned out, that it was impatience. You know, I'm just impatient. It could have been that I didn't trust in the process. It could have been fear. It could have been, it could have been a whole heap of things. But I know enough about EFT now to know in order to truly clear this and to get your manifestation working seamlessly, you have to get to the real issue. So I began kind of tapping on it. What, what am I really feeling? What's really going on for me? And, um, and all of a sudden the word came up, disempowerment. That was the word that jumped into my head. Disempowerment. Okay, so, oh, I'm feeling really disempowered. I, I am, I'm in a position of no power at this present time. I'm waiting for somebody else to make a decision about something for me. Now, so then I began tapping on it. It started kind of Wednesday morning when we hadn't heard. I began tapping on disempowerment, this disempowerment feeling. So I got really specific, very specific about the feeling. Because when you, if you're using EFT 
and you, you're not specific enough. And if you're a coach, you're a team leader, this is where it's incredibly important for you because you may think one of your team members or, or um, someone you work with uh, a coaching is going through something. You may have an, an idea, but unless you get really, really specific, A, you don't clear it, the pattern keeps coming up, or B, it takes too long to clear it, six or one half a dozen the other. So when I began tapping around the disempowerment, I wrote down every memory I could remember about feeling disempowered. Now, what came up for me was really interesting because there were the same, many of the same patterns of things that have happening in the past. And I've mentioned them on Facebook Lives before and used them in different ways. Um, but this was an aspect of the pattern that I hadn't seen before, this disempowerment. And I recognized immediately it came to my mind that this was a habit of mine. Um, <clears throat> it had happened in business partnerships where I had, I, I had kind of, how can I say this? I had tapped around handing my power over. What I hadn't tapped around was being in a position where the other person was actually in power and I felt disempowered. You see the difference? It's, it's very slight, the difference, but it's where you get really specific. <clears throat> Once I found that, it was like the whole dam burst open. The whole dam burst open. I went right back to exactly where I knew it started. It was, it was, and it was tapping around things in my childhood. And that was an issue I hadn't worked on before. Now, the minute I found it, <clears throat> the minute I found it and began tapping on it, it was like the floodgates opened up as I started to kind of release this disempowerment. Now, why I call it a habit is um, I have worked in the past, back in the days when I was doing uh, counselling and therapy um, with EFT, and I don't do that anymore. I do, as I say, more in corporate coaching and, <clears throat> and also training in EFT. I used to do a lot of work with um, <clears throat> domestic uh, violence um, um, survivors, domestic violence survivors. And one of the things that used to come up all the time <clears throat> was they would continue to repeat the pattern. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's the disempowerment. It becomes a habit. Why? Because that's where you feel comfortable. That's where you feel comfortable. We get so used to the disempowerment, it becomes comfortable. And that's when the issue <clears throat> is difficult to fix because when you're stuck in that disempowerment and it's comfortable, it's uncomfortable to change it. Because when you change that disempowerment, when you release it, yeah, yeah, that's exactly right, Donna. They, they lose their power. It's so true. And, um, and I see this over and over and over again. Um, for people, it's the, it, they, for women in particular, it's that less loss of power that's the problem. Um, mm, interesting, interesting, Sally. Yeah, and so for you in particular, it's looking at all those aspects of the disempowerment because it manifests itself in so many ways. So for me, let's go back to to the to. I'll keep it in terms of me. <laughs> it's always about me. <laughs> It was, I had to look at the times I, I felt disempowered in my jobs. So where I had a boss that didn't allow me to feel empowered. You see the difference? It's not about feeling powerful. It's about feeling empowered or disempowered. When you're empowered, it's, yeah, oh, both of you. Okay, cool. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I, I, and I, um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting, isn't it? So many people that I have now come across. Um, it's, it's, uh, yes, 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 yes. Um, my love to both of you um, for where you're at at the moment. So um, the difference is between feeling empowered and feeling powerful. Okay, that's a different feeling. So empowerment is that place of, to me, it's that place of calm reflection. It's that place of. Um, Oh, okay. So I'm looking 
to rent out a room in my house and it's bringing up feelings control, trust of myself. Mm. Yeah, there's some good stuff there, Sally. So what I would be doing for you, if, if you use EFT, if you know about it, there's a, some stuff on my website about it, but um, where, where that trust has been taken away from you in the past, where you've not trusted yourself, there's a lot about disempowerment around that. That, interesting enough, in this process of looking for an apartment is what came up for me um, was that not, I wasn't trusting myself. So when you don't trust yourself, you can't listen to your intuition. When you don't listen to your intuition, you can't manifest. That's how it works. Um, so it's looking at, okay, where am I not feeling empowered? When you feel empowered, there's a, I, I kind of liken it to this feeling of just calm. I feel really empowered at the moment. I feel really empowered. You know, it's, no, it's like when you know things will work out and you, you trust in, in the fact that when you put the intention out there, all manner of opportunities will, will you know, kind of op open up for them and, and you feel empowered to step into those opportunities just because they feel right. Feeling powerful is a different feeling. So you kind of get the, the difference in that. So feeling empowered and the disempowerment. So then it was bosses. It was uh, friends. Um, yeah, best feeling ever. I know, Donna, isn't it? That it's just calm. And I think for a woman, it's that wonderful empowerment feeling. You just feel confident and calm and and knowing. It's like a knowing. Um, so we're going to do a tapping on that in a minute, um, that that empowerment, uh, how, to, how to release the disempowerment and what you need to do. Um, again, I'll mention... If you are a, um, uh, interested in doing the EFT for Leaders program, that's the link there. There's a dot, um, there's a, a popped a, a link below. Um, and that's what we're showing you. If you're a team leader, if you're a coach, um, parent, <laughs> and want to use this with your children, um, at the EFT for Leaders and Coaches program, that's, that's what I help you find. Find that. Help you know how to find that how to ask the right questions to get there. So um, we'll do a tapping on there. So outcome, after I'd tapped on it all, after I'd released it, after I'd forgiven everybody <laughs> for the disappearing, I was doing a lot of tapping. Literally five minutes later when I said, oh, okay, I, this feels good. Phone rang and we got the apartment. And interestingly enough, the things that have fallen into place, and we they wanted us to move in earlier, uh, we said we needed to move the 29th. She came back and said, you wouldn't believe it. The people who are moving out have been delayed. The owners want it for a period of time. The 29th it is. Um, there was only one car park and we asked for a second. Yes, as a matter of fact, you wouldn't believe it. And our second one has just come up. So all these things just kind of fell into place. Even yesterday, this is, this is where <laughs> this whole process blows me away. We've been, you know, putting stuff on Gumtree and selling it. And um, we had a, 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 an old Apple desktop um, on Gumtree and a really lovely young man who knew who'd worked for Apple um, uh, came and made us an offer for it. He came, we, he, we, he took it away for $150 and, and then ended up buying um, the second Apple computer we had um, that we, we sold for 20 bucks. It's just an old one, you know, you, you could not do anything about it with it, but he, he bought it to use it for parts. And you wouldn't believe it. So this, and then the guy came and did our hedges. I had two quotes and one guy said, charging me a ridiculous amount of money and then the other guy said oh 170 bucks and then he came back and said can I come pick up the money at the same time that the young guy came gave me 170 dollars and 10 minutes later the hedges guy showed up and I just handed him 170 dollars I just I couldn't I just it's gone on like this just these synchronicities little tiny synchronicities that I write down in my gratitude journal I write down all those little synchronicities so is amazing. The whole process was amazing, you know, to how I fell into this disempowerment. The fear came up. The, I couldn't work. I, I, you know, I'd sit down to do something and I couldn't do it. So it really brought home for me the fact that when you are feeling disempowered, when you are feeling disempowered, your manifestation is switched off. You, it's just you can't see the forest for the trees. It stops everything. And that's why it's important to uncover 
and release those feelings of disempowerment. So let's tap on that now. So to finish the show, I want to finish the show right at the top of the hour um, because I know your time is really valuable. So I would like you now, um, for those of you who have done EFT before, you kind of know the, the routine. If you haven't done EFT, if you're on the show for the first time, just follow along. <laughs> Just follow along. It's This is a wonderful evidence-based modality um, that is now, um, actually, there was a a, um, a uh, study published during the week to show that EFT is as good as CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, which is what many psychologists use, as effective in treating depression. It was a wonderful new paper. Um, so it works in, in, in a weight loss. It works for um, productivity. It works for success. It works for depression and anxiety. So if you haven't done it before, just follow it. I'll, I'll guide you through it. I want you to write down something or somebody who makes you feel disempowered. Try to get to the feeling of, I have no power in this issue. They go out of their way to make me feel disempowered. See if you can find that. See if you can find that. Measure the, the uh, emotion on a scale of one to 10 and where you feel it in your body. Okay, and we'll go straight into it. So you can, we always start off on the on what we call the uh, side of hand point. Um, we just tap a few times. And what I want you to do while we're doing this, okay, we're tapping this, and I'm saying this three times because we want to get very specific. Okay, I want you to get very specific. The time, find the time, find the person, find the words. That's what we're doing in this, okay? So just follow along, even though I feel disempowered. I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. Even though I'm going to really bring up this feeling of disempowerment because I want to find out where it started. I deeply and completely accept myself and how I feel. Even though I have this feeling of disempowerment. I think it's a habit of mine and I'm ready to get it to release it. I deeply and completely <clears throat> accept myself and how I feel. Now, if you've got a person in mind, try and bring that person up. <clears throat> Here we go. This disempowerment feeling disempowered, these feelings of disempowerment, this is a habit, I've felt this before, feeling disempowered, feeling these feelings of disempowerment, this disempowerment, this overwhelming disempowerment, feeling it, this disempowerment, feeling disempowered, feeling the disempowerment, feeling it in my body. This is an old pattern. Feeling disempowered. Okay, just take a deep breath. <clears throat> now measure on a scale of one to ten if that shifted at all. So we on the show here, you know, I want to kind of just get you down to a little bit. You really need to be specific. We want, we always want to get that feeling down to a two or a zero. If we can get it to a zero, it's really good. I don't, ooh, I have no charge on that anymore. But around a two or a zero, I'm going to go into a reframe because it's really important. This reframe part. Um, this particular reframe part is very important and I'm going to move on to that. But if you're working on yourself, then ensure that um, um, you, you do a lot of it. So you'll need to go back and almost to every time you felt disempowered, every person that's made you feel disempowered. You need to go find what we in, in EFT, we call it the aspects. You've got to collapse all of them. Otherwise, you'll just keep repeating the pattern. You just keep repeating. I mean, that's, that's what happens. We just keep repeating the pattern. That's why it becomes a habit. 
sets herself in her brain. The brain goes, oh, God, disempowerment. I've been here before. Ah, I know this feeling really well. Let's do this. Let's play this out. Morning, morning, sand tapping for others this morning. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. We love this. We love it. Tapping for others. Very, very important. Wow, Debbie. <laughs> I got a feeling there's an aha there. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. I want to do the reframe. As I said before, the reframe is really important in this particular one. And I'll share with you the reason why. And it's about forgiveness. If something is not shifting in your life, I'll say it myself. If something isn't shifting in my life, the first question I ask is, what am I not seeing? What's a, what's a habit? What's a pattern? Second question I ask, who haven't I forgiven yet? What am I hanging on to? Who have not been forgiven yet? Remember, forgiveness. Ah, oh, I can see a pattern for me. So many tears. Ah, oh, oh, wow, wow, wow. Sally, keep tapping. Keep tapping till you get that feeling down, okay? Just so the tears, just keep tapping. Um, for those of you who are coaches and leaders, this is one of the things we that I teach you how to do, but we just keep tapping. Keep tapping. Don't stop. Just keep tapping. So while I'm talking, Sally, just keep tapping. Just keep tapping. Okay, we're going to go into the reframe. All right. Um, forgiveness. All right. Because, you know, if you don't forgive, it's not, about, it's not about them. Remember, forgiveness isn't about them. It's about you. All right. Here we go in the reframe. Sally, let me know if you're okay, okay? All right. Even though I've released that disempowerment feeling, I choose to feel empowered. Even though I know that disempowerment feeling has been hanging around a long time, I choose to feel empowered. Even though this disempowerment has been part of my life for a long time, I'm ready and willing to embrace the feeling of empowerment. All right, tap with me. I choose empowerment. I choose to embrace empowerment. I give myself permission to feel empowered. I choose to forgive everybody who has taken my power away. I choose to forgive myself for not feeling empowered. I choose to forgive myself for allowing myself to feel disempowered. The buck stops right here. I choose to embrace empowerment. This empowerment is my birthright. I choose to be open to all the opportunities that now flow into my life. I choose to embrace empowerment. I give myself permission to be empowered. I forgive all of those who've taken my power away. I forgive myself for giving my power away. I choose to embrace forgiveness of myself. I choose empowerment. Take a deep breath and let it go. Okay. That reframe is really important because, if I mentioned many times on this show, our brain goes to what we feel comfortable with. It's why we keep repeating the same patterns. Why women, uh, it's so difficult for many women to break out of domestic violence because it's a habit. It becomes a pattern. It's like I know who I am in this environment. I know who I am. And so when you are feeling disempowered, it's about forgiving yourself for all those times it was too hard to embrace empowerment. Too hard. It's okay. That's the way the brain works. 
And when you're in positions of stress and it's, ah, oh, yes, ah, oh, too many tears. Okay, let it flow. Just keep on tapping, guys. Don't stop. Isn't that interesting? It was a real aha for me. I have to tell you, it was a real aha for me this week. And I thought I have tapped on these goodness gracious damn issues over and over and over again. Disempowerment. And it was like, it was like when that released, ah, oh, it was this sense of I can take control of my life back. I can take control of my life back. So that's how this works. Now I'll pop a, uh, oh, interesting, Laura. Was proof of that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. You see, if you if when we when we stop and breathe step back and go oh i see that pattern for me it was people i worked with for me it was people that i that whether it was a boss or whether it was a business partner and i would just shoop, fit straight into that oh oh they're smarter than me they're better than me they've got more power and i just shoop, hand my power over oh, radio just you know that was part of their stuff was to they wanted to take my power away because for whatever reason, and it was interesting because I had to go through like a lot of them, <laughs> different bosses, different business partners that didn't work out. And it's good when you get there, you know, because you go, I get now why that happened. I get there now why I am where I'm at. I get it. I, I totally get it. And then it's like, okay, well, you know, lying in the sand, we can, let's do this because I'm not, you're not getting a charge on it, you see, because <clears throat> when you're in a situation where somebody, you, you go back into that position of where somebody's taking your power away, you automatically, it's like a child, we automatically slip into that. Okay, sure, yep, I'll do everything. You know, we go into the imposter syndrome, we, we hand it all over. It's a, it's, it's a pattern, we just, we, it's a habit. We fall into it, it's a habit. So what a great show, guys. What a great show. Um, I hope this has really helped. For those of you who have a lot come up this morning, just keep tapping. Don't stop. You know, don't stop. Just tap on it all. And of all things, forgive yourself. Forgive them. Send them love. You know, that's, that's their stuff. Um, but, oh, <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Itchy top right hand side of my head. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting, Donna. I'm just see what you're hanging on to. Itchy right side of your head. Mm, mm. Interesting. Yep, yep, yep. Laura, my mother, devil in disguise, a shocker, was it? <laughs> I know. I know. Our poor parents. And I go, oh my God, what are my kids going to be tapping on? And I know. Look, you know. And they were doing the best they could. I mean, that's where you have to get to in the end. They were doing the best they could. But, yeah, that's where my beginning was. Not with my mother, with my, you know. Um, unconscious bias. Yeah, Sally, that's exactly right. We don't know. We don't know what we don't know. That's We don't know what we don't know. And But it's the, the thing is this. It, it's about when you, when you find, um, when you find, if something's not working, it's words I'm going. If something's not working in your life, stop. Don't keep persisting with it not working, and you know, blaming others or putting it out there, or it's not the right time, or this isn't, you know, no, 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 no. People aren't listening, or whatever the story is, whatever your story is, you're running. <clears throat> it's doing that inner work. Okay, it's doing that inner work that's so important because we are the energy. Okay, we are the energy. So it's when you are, um, oh, I'm trying to find this one. <laughs> Got it. Um, when things aren't going right, when things aren't going, or you feel like I had this week, feel that sense of not being able to focus on something and you know, uncomfortable. Oh, and I'm so, I said to my daughter, because we talk all the time on Messenger, I said, I think I just, I'm impatient. And I thought, no, that's not it. It's, I know this is deeper than that. I know this is deeper than that. It's not just about being impatient. What was it? Because it was such an uncomfortable feeling. And, uh, and the result was five minutes later, phone rings. There we go. 
So you clear that energy field. Clear, 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 clear. That's it. That's it. Exactly. Exactly, Donna. We are the energy. We are all energy. We are all one. So true. So true. We are the energy and we need, right, the birthright sense is a big moment. Coming back to what I was, yeah, Sally, you know what? Um, yeah, that's for many women because we've gotten so used to feeling disempowered, we forget it's our birthright. It's what we came here for. We came here with, you know, we came in to play out a story, but basically to clear whatever it is we need to clear, it is our birthright to be happy and to be loved and to be uh, successful in whatever we do and feel joy. That's our birthright. But we really get uh, caught up in um, everything else. That's what we get caught up in. Um, we get caught up in, in, in struggle and we get caught up in, in um, everything's got to be hard. Uh, we get caught up in if it's not hard, then it's not worth it. We get caught up in that. And um, it, it, it isn't. It, you know, everything is about clearing, 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 whatever it is. And, and that big word forgiveness comes up. That big word forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive others because it's all getting you to a point. All getting you to a point. All right, my lovelies. Um what a great show. Wow, 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 wow. I'm really pleased that you were on and that for those of you who um, um, I'm just going to pop the link for the EFT for Leaders program in the thing. If you are a coach or a leader, imagine what you can do for your clients when you know how to use this amazing modality. What a difference it's going to make um, to your clients. So um, if, you, if, it, if it works, um, for you, the timing, everything else, please hop on the link. Have a look. So excited to bring this together. Morning, L. Good to see you. <laughs> Morning, Donna. It's turning into a lovely little um, group, isn't it? Like we were all on. It's a shame. I think one day we'll do a Zoom call or something so we'll all talk to each other. But um, I'm, I, I love you all being on and I, and I love delivering the show to you. And, and I love being able to share my journey too. Uh, oh, you're welcome, Sally. Thank you for being on. Um, I love being able to share my journey. It's, you know, as I said um, to somebody this week, um, we were doing some coaching stuff and, and one of my clients, and I said, I've been through most of this, so I get how you feel. I don't have it together either, but I know what to do when I don't have it together. And and that's the journey, you know. Um, I, I heard um, a comment today about enlightenment. Oh, <laughs> enlightenment. Before enlightenment, um, draw water, chop wood. After enlightenment, draw water chop wood it's always yeah 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 exactly get more presentable um <laughs> if you're on we were all talking yes um but you know this is an ongoing for all of us we, we never stop evolving we, we never stop unfortunately but we never stop evolving all right my lovely people it is now 808 so it's time to go for you guys to get on with your day thank you so much for a wonderful wonderful session today um Please share this out. Share this out with people that you think need to hear this today. Share it out with them um, because you, you can help so many other people as well. And, uh, and the EFT for Leaders program, if it sings to you, if it resonates with you, love to have you there. All right, my lovelies, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. For those with children in school, I know it's a long weekend this weekend. Here we go again. <laughs> and I saw somewhere 10 Fridays yesterday till Christmas. <laughs> All right. Have a wonderful weekend. Love to you all. See you all soon. See you next week. Bye for now.